Just three of Ferguson, Missouri's 53 police officers are black. So the killing of a black teenager stopped by a police officer there has again raised questions about institutional racism in U.S. law enforcement. But those who monitor the police say the racial makeup of police departments is not the fundamental problem. It's the policies they enforce. In New York City, a majority of police officers on the beat are black, Latino or Asian. But it's still minorities who are overwhelmingly targeted. Here in mainly black Bedford-Stuyvesant, New York, the police issued 8,200 tickets to people for riding a bike on the sidewalk between 2008 and 2011. That compares to just 32 tickets issued in nearby white Park Slope. Watchdog groups argue the main problem isn't police diversity. D diversity will probably help with better policing, but it won't make a significant difference. In New York City, for example, uh, whether it's a white cop or a cop of color, that officer has to get with the program, and that program in New York City is to focus on low-income communities of color and to focus on petty infractions. It results in harassment and unnecessary punishments. 86% of those arrested in New York for misdemeanors in the first six months of this year were black. Activists allege police officers view minorities as the easiest way to meet arrest quotas. Communities view the police as unpredictable armed occupiers. A 70% close to that population. Even the executive director of the organization representing black officers in the U.S. seemed resigned. I would hope that an African-American or a Latino officer or someone have a little, maybe a little more understanding. But let's be very honest, depending on the environment you're in, maybe it is impossible. Critics argue there is no room for communal mutual trust under a leadership that insists on adversarial militarized policing. Until that changes, they argue, the police will continue to shoot and the unarmed will continue to die. Shehabritansi, Al Jazeera, New York.